Hello everybody. You may have seen the Blackboard Tour video that Kate and I judiciously put together. The video you are watching focuses on how to modify your Blackboard Core shell to meet your instructional delivery needs while aligning with the format requested by Academic Affairs. In fact, this shell design is specifically structured for ease of instructional content organization. If you are having difficulties reorganizing a Blackboard layout that you have used for many years into our finely tuned shell rendition, contact me and we can work on it together. But the MCC Blackboard shell is not just about you and I. It is about the student and a consistent look and feel always results in more efficient student acclimation to new courses. They simply know where to find most everything. As instructors, we do want our academic freedom and this shell provides that. There is a place for everything within a very efficient menu design. Want to know a secret? This left sidebar menu is actually very close to the menu used at a major New Hampshire university. This university has over 30,000 online students and a very large staff of instructional designers who have learned what works. And I'm a big believer in not reinventing the wheel. So let's begin. As you know, your assignments are deployed within the Learning Modules tab, and we have provided the module format template for your course building convenience. Please note, we would like you to provide the title of the module and dates it is open, as we recognize that there are different preferences for module design. One module per week is common, but sometimes modules are based on specific topics that span multiple weeks. Once your first module is created, you can copy, paste, and modify for the next week or topic. In fact, the contextual menu will permit you to not only copy and paste the module within the current course, but also will allow you to paste within a folder of another course you may be teaching. And as a side note, be sure to clean up any extraneous template text prior to deploying the modules. Once within the modules, you will see that we have created a layout that takes the students through the description and objectives of the module and have also provided links to all of the assignments and materials required for the module. We would like you to keep the text formatting, such as the bolded areas, as this helps create some form of consistency across all MCC online course design. The red text in all areas will need to be modified for your purposes. To modify items and content areas, click this contextual menu arrow and select Edit. Your alterations will be done in this area, and related tools for your application of text changes are located here. Note that this tool area is collapsible as well as the text field area being expandable to full screen. To set a hyperlink to text, highlight the text. The hyperlink paperclip becomes active and you can browse your computer or the course content collection for the linked file. As previously mentioned, modules should contain direct links to all assignments required during that module time frame. This includes quizzes, essays, papers, discussion boards, etc. All of these assignments need to be included here rather than within a separate tab on the left-hand navigation bar as this isn't best practice and, and often causes confusion for students. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So, to create a specific assignment, scroll up to Assessments and select Assignment. Naturally, you name the assignment and apply grading options and submission details. Submission details is where you implement safe assign for plagiarism detection. Your discussion board forms are created here. Just select create form, name it, description here, and form settings here. Don't forget to make the form available. I'm going to use this discussion form to show you how to link to it from a learning module. One of the objectives of Blackboard course design 
is to reduce what is called navigation friction or click-through. We therefore create links to assignments and discussion boards from the learning modules so the student does not have to leave the module to access other parts of the course. So, once a form is created, we can go to our learning module, build content, and select course link. Browse for the discussion board, name and describe, and bada bing bada boom, you have created an easy path for your students to access another area of your course right from within the module. At the bottom of this module template, we have placed an easy link to Blackboard Collaborate for your students. This may be for virtual classroom purposes in online classes or short supplemental screen recorded lectures in either online or on campus classes. If you are unfamiliar with the Blackboard Collaborate tool, please let me know and I'll be happy to walk you through the basics. It's easier than it seems. If you need assistance with module construction using the provided templates, let me know. Academic Affairs understands that if you are being asked to maintain MCC consistency in shell design, that you should expect appropriate support. In turn, we'll be looking at shells to see who can use our help. Good luck with your classes.